So yeah, um, our vocabulary words, elasticity, stretch and return, plasticity, change shape without break. Oh, by the way, the reason why we use this term ductile, especially ductile or ductility with metals, is that we don't want to confuse the word plastic with metals. Because not everybody, but many people who are not material scientists call polymers plastics. So there's a, I had a, a yogurt for, for lunch. It had a polymer container. My yogurt came in a polymer dish uh, with a foil cover on the top. As a material scientist, if I was being really engineering and nerdy today, I would say, hey, look at this polymer cup that my, yolk, my, my yogurt came in. Of course, if I'm not being nerdy or scientific, I would say, look at this plastic cup that my yogurt came in. So even though we know that plasticity and plastic is an, is an adjective and the noun verb of that adjective, we, don't, we want to try to avoid using the word plasticity and plastic when we're talking about metals and when we're talking about ceramics. It turns out ceramics, as we just saw, are not are not very flexible at all. So it's very, very rare that you'll say, oh, look how squishy this marble floor is. Um, ceramics exhibit almost zero plasticity, at least on a human scale. So we don't have to worry about somebody saying, wow, this, this, um, this marble, this brick, this rock is really plastic. Um, but we do have a, the same problem with, with metals. Metals can be very bendy and very twisty. You take, you take a metal coat hanger, you take a piece of copper wire, it bends pretty quickly. So instead of calling it plastic, we have a, a substitute word so that no one gets confused with metals being polymers. We call it ductile or ductile. So if somebody says, look how bendy this metal is, we probably will say, wow, that metal is really, look at the ductility of this metal. Or um, by adding, it, adding in these other ingredients, we can improve the ductility rather than saying improving the plasticity of a metal. So again, just introducing a new vocabulary word. Um, and then the opposite of being very plastic or lots of plasticity if it snaps, um, if it has little plasticity, we call something as being brittle. Okay, so especially here in January, with things being so cold outside, um, if you may have a piece of plastic, you may have a polymer that in the summer would just bend no problem, but it was so cold that it snaps, we call that brittle. And of course, because I, I relate everything to food, um, if you take soft caramel, um, and molasses, which are kind of gooey and very plastic, and you happen to freeze them and put peanuts in it, uh, we call it peanut brittle. And of course, peanut brittle is very crunchy because the, um, the sugars have frozen, if you will, and, and it has very little plasticity and very little ductility. Um, the material is very brittle. We call it peanut brittle.